Step three, enter probabilities and values. Now that you have the skeleton of the tree, you can enter probabilities and values, that is gains or losses, on the branches. Precision Tree uses your probabilities and value inputs to do its folding back calculations, expected values at chance nodes and maximums at decision nodes. It is very important to realize that the results of all precision tree calculations are shown in green, red, and blue font. You should not change any formulas in these colored cells. You should enter your inputs only in cells with black font. To enter probabilities on chance branches, enter a value or a cell reference in the cell above any chance branch. It is up to you to ensure that the probabilities from any chance node sum to 1. If they don't sum to 1, you will see value errors. To enter values on any branches, enter a value or a cell reference on any branches where a gain or loss occurs. These should be entered in cells below the branches. Just make sure you don't double count. That is, if you follow a path in the tree from left to right, a given gain or loss should be entered only once. Watch carefully as I enter probabilities and values for this decision tree. I will enter cell references for the inputs in rows 10 to 12 so that I can perform sensitivity analysis later on, and I will enter numbers for the rest. I will also enter absolute cell references so that I can copy formulas appropriately. Those are all the probabilities. The latter ones I got from these numbers right here. For the cost, there is an immediate cost for placing a bid. And because it's a cost, I will enter it as a negative number. For the gains, they are all the bid amount minus the cost of completing the project. Now I will enter them. The company will receive this gain if there are no competing bids or if they underbid the competitors. Now it's your turn. Stop this video and enter the appropriate probabilities and values in the tree, copying when possible. 